Hi guys. Hi. I'm here with Kate Rolston. She is the founder of M3 Life CBD and also business partner with Dr. Jenny Wilkins, who is a chief medical officer of their company and she'll be speaking and facilitating at Cannabis Retreats. Yay. Yay! So we're here to talk about the importance of CBD and people are continuously asking me questions about what type of CBD, they're overwhelmed, there's so many products, you know, what to look for when they're looking for pain relief or anxiety or if somebody's elderly in their family that they want to stop taking all these meds and get off meds. So I'm always recommending this tincture, M3 Lives tincture. And now I have Kate to explain exactly why and what to look for when you're looking for your CBD tincture products. This is for your internal homeostasis. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad you mentioned that because what a lot of people don't know is that we have an internal system called our endocannabinoid system, which is a series of receptors in the brain, in the gut and under the skin, all over your body. And those receptors are there to receive cannabinoids. Mm -hmm. When you're young and healthy and you sleep well, you produce your own cannabinoids and they call those endogenous cannabinoids. We produce something in the mind, in the brain called anandamide, mm -hmm. which is, it goes to the CB1 receptor and the other product that goes to the CB1 receptor is a phytocannabinoid called THC. Mm -hmm. So anandamide is equivalent to THC. Right. And so don't be afraid. Don't of be THC. afraid. Yeah, you produce your own. You yes. produce your own. Just a matter of how much you take. Yeah. That's that's another story. But this one's focused on CBD. CBD. Right now. Yeah. So we have other receptors. There the CB2 receptors, and we produce a chemical called uh, 2AG, and that goes to those receptors. And what those receptors do is they bring you back to balance. So if you're not sleeping, you're in pain. If you're anxious, you're out of balance, and this will bring you back into balance. What's the equivalent of 2-AG from the plant, from the phytocannabinoid? CBD. Cannabidiol. Cannabidiol is the proper name for CBD. So what should people be looking for? There's full spectrum, there's broad spectrum, there's isolate, there's distillate. So let's talk about your product and what, you, what makes this unique and why you guys developed it this way. So uh, Dr. Jenny has given me a lot of education. She's an expert in the endocannabinoid system and cannabinoid medicine. And she's taught me that broad spectrum and full spectrum oils are so much better for your health. Because what's happened is the plant, the cannabis plant, whether it's from marijuana or from hemp, has a beautiful array of compounds called cannabinoids, terpenes, and flavonoids. There's other compounds as well, but they're in a beautiful harmony in the plant. And we shouldn't upset that harmony because they work together synergistically, synergistically yeah, to bring this beautiful effect they call the entourage effect. And it has a much more therapeutic effect on the body than when you just take one cannabinoid on its own and isolate it. Right. And that would be CBD isolate. Yes. Now, I'm not saying that CBD isolate has no benefit. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that a full spectrum or a broad spectrum has a better benefit. And there's trace amounts of THC in a full spectrum. Trace amounts, yeah. Yeah, so, but you can't get high. It's just creating the synergistic effects so you get the totality of the benefits of this, the whole plant. And that's what's so important about, you know, the healing of this plant and learning about it is not to take out pieces of it to gain this homeostasis state of being parasympathetic mode. We need the whole plant. Yeah. So, so the THC is actually acting as a catalyst right. to help the CBD do its job. And it can't do as good a job on its own. So another thing that distinguishes what is a good uh, tincture to take and what is not, you should ask for a certificate of analysis. Now, a lot of companies say they have a certificate of analysis, but here's what you're looking for. You're looking for the CBD content. You're looking for the THC content. So legal hemp has 0.03% or up to 0.03%. So 1%, 2% or up to 3%. That's legal. Then you have the other cannabinoids, CBG, CBC, C THCA, CBDA. There's many, many. We can talk about that in another video. The other things you're looking for are the terpenes, but also very, very important to create this extract. You have to use solvents in a lab. You use solvents to extract the chemicals, the compounds. And so 
So you want to look to see if there's any residuals there because you don't want residual right. solvents. So what would residuals be? So you're looking for propane, butane, ethanol, um, yeah. all these different things that are used to extract the oils. And what you want to look for on the COA that there's none detected or minuscule amount detected. Another thing is you're looking for pesticides because in the in farming, a lot of people use pesticides. Ours are grown organically, non-GMO, so we only use any organic pesticides. So you want to see if there's any pesticide screening. And what it shows here, non-detected, non-detected, non-detected. That's what you want to look for. Yeah. You don't want poison in your medicine. No. Yeah. And uh, so not all CBD is made the same. No, it's not. Not all CBD is made the same. And we're so lucky to have somebody like Dr. Jenny, who's a scientist, and she also has a processing facility. And her facility is a CGMP. It's Certified Good Manufacturing Practices. And it is ISO certified as well. And she has a 503B lab. Very few people who make uh, tinctures can actually say that. What does that mean? It means it's made to pharmaceutical grade. All of this is done in a clean room, the same way the pharmaceutical industry um, regulates. So we're already using the regulations of an established industry for safety and efficacy. Not a lot of companies do that. Yeah. And that's really important. So we're here to educate you so you guys can ask the right questions when you're looking for what CBD is available in your states or your country. And, you know, if all of this doesn't match up, then at least you know what's the most important to look for. And also, um, you know, specifically for your needs, if you're especially looking for pain relief and something uh, more medical, you yeah. want to go towards the full spectrum yes. rather than, you know, if you're just looking for overall wellness, you don't have to have the full spectrum. It's better, but, you know, you can be using some isolates and things like that. You'll get some benefit from the isolate, yeah. but no one needs as much. Yeah, you might as well get the top quality. Best. They're similar price. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not cheaper to go isolate. Um, so another thing that I just wanted to mention is um, how we take the, the tincture. So we take the tincture under the tongue. You should take some. So what's the dose? With, you know, it says up to one milliliter. What do you think a daily dose of this should be? Well, it's all very much dependent on the condition. It's dependent on your health and wellness. It's dependent if you've taken other meds. So always talk to a doctor and always talk to the, your provider or someone knowledgeable. However, you could start with three to five drops under the tongue and build up every day until you get to 15 drops, which is half, and 30 drops, which is a full, a full drop. Yeah, and Dr. Jenny told me that everybody should take at least 25 milliliters a day, or 0.25 milligrams, sorry. Yeah. If we, and you can build up But to I that. usually take a, a full full dropper. It's not going to harm you. No, and it keeps me calm. Keeps. Oh, yeah. So I have people who go on stage. They have to teach. They have to speak mm -hmm. in public. Vanilla. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's good, isn't it? It's got the MCT oil, which is a wonderful carrier oil, and a nice mild vanilla flavor, which I like because I make mocktails. I make delicious mocktails with this, and it doesn't affect the beautiful flavor. So it's good to hold it under your tongue for at least 30 seconds or longer so you get the full, the full effect. effect and it goes into your bloodstream. And what it will do is it will make you feel relaxed. It will bring a sense of well-being. It can help you sleep. So it's a good it's good if you want to try it just before bed in case it makes you fall asleep. You don't want to try it at work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It also decalcifies your pineal gland. All right, well, we're coming to uh, an end with our CBD educational uh, video. Check out m3.life to look at more of Kate's products. And we love you guys. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, send DMs, and we're happy to answer. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. What a beautiful location. Look at this. We love being in nature. Yeah.